Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be bringing back Northern Realms Alumni Mages. This deck has insane control and it is so so fun to play. So if you want to see just how powerful alumni can be then stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the video guys, let's go and take a look at the deck. Okay guys, so here we can see the deck in full and of course we have a lot of mages in here. The main cards that we want to focus on are the two students, Arachu's a student who needs to go on the ranged row and Barnard's student who needs to go on the melee row and also of course alumni. Now these are the three main cards that we are going to focus on. Alumni is the main showcase of this deck. Alumni's value is predetermined by these two students with patience. So let me explain patience. Basically, Arachu's a student goes on the ranged row. She boosts an allied unit by zero. This number, her patience, will go up every time she is on the board and you do not use her. So for example, if Arachu's a student is on the board for five turns and you don't use her for five turns, then she's gonna boost an allied unit by five. And it is the exact same for Barnard's student, but with damage. So if you leave Barnard's student on the melee row for 5 turns without clicking him, he will damage an enemy unit by 5. Now, with alumni, alumni's damage or boost is the exact same as what Barnard's student and Arachusa student's patience is, so they carry over to alumni. Alumni is going to match the two students here, so we want to buff up the two students as much as possible and get this number as high as possible in round one so that we can do as much damage or boost as possible with alumni. Now the thing that's going to help us buff up these two students the most is Letitia. Here she is, Letitia, another mage. She goes on the range throw and she also has patience. Now at the end of this turn her patience goes up by one, much like the students, but her order is to boost every other unit on the board that has patience by her patience value. So for example, if Letitia has four patience, at the end of her turn, if you click her, she will add four patience onto the other two students. So for example, if Barnard's student is currently sitting on five patience and Letitia is on four, if you click Letitia, she's going to add four patients onto Barnard's student and he will have a total of nine patients. So Letitia is very, very important in this deck. So we want to protect her and protect the students in round one at all costs. That's why we have Donny of Troy in this deck, the shield. He's going to protect those units from getting damaged. And we also have the Stratagem Crystal Skull which boosts a unit by four and gives it veil. So that gives a little bit of protection to the students of Letitia against any nasty bleeding locks or spying or poison. We want to avoid those things at all costs if we can. So we have Letitia that's going to help us boost up the students more. But one other thing that's going to help even more than Letitia is Tessaia. At the end of her turn, she will reset the order of all allied mages that used their order during that turn. So you want to use Letitia's order, then play to Sayer, and you will be able to reuse Letitia again. So if Letitia's sitting at five patients, you click her, you add five patients to the students. You play to Sayer, you replay Letitia's five patients, adding another ten patients to the students which is absolutely insane. The potential that Tessaia has to increase the, the patience is just, is just incredible. So she is a, an excellent addition to this deck. So in round one, we're gonna be buffing up the students. Now round two and three, we want to focus on playing um, as many alumni as possible. The things that are gonna help us do this is Queen Adelaia. Queen Adelaia spawns a base copy of a unit in your hand and gives it shield. Now that can give us one extra alumni. 
We also have um, casting contest. We have two of these. This can replay an allied unit, a bronze unit, and give it zeal. So we can replay the other knives twice with casting contest. And we also have the warfare card reinforcements, which spawns and plays a copy of a bronze allied unit. So there is another alumni card that we can have. Also, we have Operator, the Neutral Mage. He will spawn and summon a base copy of a bronze unit from our hand to this row, but he also puts one on the opponent's side as well. But the great thing is that the alumni that goes on the opponent's side of the board won't have that patience value. So essentially, their alumni isn't gonna be able to do anything unless it's a special circumstance where it is a mirror match and they are playing the same deck as us, but that is fairly rare. So I think that is a pretty safe option to have here. Another great card in this deck is Shani. Shani can summon a bronze human unit from the graveyard and summon it to the same row that she is on. So for example, we can bring back the students that we buffed up in round one and play them again and use their damage because the students in round one we won't really actually use their order ability because as soon as we use their order ability their patience stops going up so we don't actually use their order ability so shani allows us to bring them back from the graveyard and actually use that eight nine ten damage or boost that we buffed up in round one Another great card that is an auto include in most Northern Realms deck is Amphibious Assault, which allows us to play a Northern Realms unit from our deck with a provision cost of 9 or less and boost it by 1 for each provision below that limit. And the amazing thing about AA is that it has Echo, so we can use it twice. We can use it over two different rounds. It's going to come back from the graveyard into our hand. And I did add the new card, Ring of Favour, from the 10.4 patch. Everybody is absolutely loving this card at the moment, including myself. It will boost an allied unit by four, but while in hand at the end of the turn, this boost will go up by two. So essentially, you can usually get around 16 boosts from this card. However, if the opponent passes before you use the boost, then it will draw a card from the deck. And all this for only eight provisions, and this artwork absolutely looks fantastic if I do say so. So this is, again, an amazing card that can help us, help us push for that round one win. And that is it for the deck explanation. Let's go and take a look at the gameplay so you guys can see this deck in action and see just how powerful and fun Alumni is. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video as it helps me out a ton. Thanks, guys. Also guys, I made it to rank 4, which I'm pretty proud of. Let's go. Ooh, monsters. Okay. Not your lucky day. <laughs> I love the girl leader. Okay, so we've got both students to start with. That's really good. And to say a... We don't need any casting contests or reinforcements. To say and Letitia, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And our choosers are deaf, so let's go. Now, I'm gonna throw down Bernard student and give him the crystal skull. And there we can see he has just achieved one patience. I'm going to throw down our chooser student, just to bait out any damage because we do have two of them before I throw down Letitia because I don't have any protection for Letitia, I don't have Donmia in hand. Oh, it's V. Okay, so they're going to generate a lot of points. Let's throw down the Tisha. No one is born in the vast majority lack even the potentials. Then we throw down Arachu's Adept. She is a great engine. She will boost herself by one for when an allied unit's patience is triggered. 
That's really annoying. Don't want to use Shani there because I have nothing in graveyard. <laughs> As you wish, and we can see all of our patients going up nicely. Okay, the points that they're generating, it's going to be pretty difficult to push for a round one win. But we want to go in round one for as long as we can to, to, to get as much patience as we can. Um, let's throw down Rafford's Vengeance. And of course, remember to use Rafford's... Remember to use Leader on Rafford's as soon as you throw it down. Use it straight away. And it gave us an alumni. That is why we use Rafford straight away. It will be targeted. Okay, I'm thinking Ring as last player so we can get as much boost from Ring as possible. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Letitia and then play to Sayer so we can re-click Letitia. Are you guys ready for this? So Bernard's on five. Click Letitia. Death and blood. Oh, no, you play to Sayer. So Letitia's order is reset. See, Bernard's on nine, and we can give him another four patients here. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. And then we can do ring, and let's boost uh, our chooser student. And we can see that Bernard's student is on 13, and our chooser student on 12. So our alumni has definitely got zeal and has got a lot of damage or boost potential here. And to be fair, I could actually use him now that we've boosted him up so much. Yeah, let's do queen and do alumni. 13. Boom! And that means we can use these guys as well. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. It's not always this easy to get them buffed up so early in round one. This is this is why Tasea, the Let the Tasea and Letitia combo is amazing. You can start using alumni round one. Okay, I do want to save another one for the later rounds. I wouldn't use both in round one. Margarita, what could we look? Throw down Margarita. And then we pass after this. Hopefully they won't catch up. Hey, they pass. Nice. And we win round one. Get rid of Bernard and our chooser. Nice operator, so we can already spawn another alumni. There we go. Holy, holy guacamole, why is there alumni? Why does their alumni have the same patience? I genuinely did not believe that would happen. We kill that alumni with our alumni. And then we use ours as thunder to kill their slizzard. They 
have another. <laughs> I am just going to pass here. Make them play another card. So I do not have a card down for round three. And yet they use their V. Round three, let's go, let's go, let's go. And of course we still have an alumni in hand and reinforcements means another alumni see if we can get another one. Rune Word could spawn an alumni. <laughs> and there's another one from the deck too. Don't need our user adept. Oh, Bernard. A Spellweaver is very nice. And Rune Word could get us alumni or Spellweaver too. I believe we have 13 damage, that's insane. And of course, when we have Spellweaver in hand, we want to throw him down first so he can gain charges for the the cards that we're going to play after him. And thank goodness that they have high point cards. That's great targets for alumni. There we go. This guard's coming back even more powerful each time. Let's use Rune Words, see what we get. Yeah, Spellweaver's nice. There we go. This just depends whether we can catch up to them with points. Let's do an alumni for boost here. There we go. Start giving ourselves some more points. Ooh, this is going to be close. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. The power of alumni. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of that gameplay. That just showcases how powerful this alumni deck can be. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck guide. Please give it a try. Let me know your thoughts. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Socials are down in the description. Please don't forget to check out my Twitch channel as I do stream Gwent live three times a week. And we have a brand new Purple Community Discord server. And it is great to see some of you guys there already. Take care, guys. See you next time.